Responding anti-Islamist. Are Muslims required to do taqiyya? Often, bigot anti-Islamist tries to malign Islam and Muslims and uproot their faith by posing questions such as, "Do you know that you are asked to do taqiyya? It's a show where Muslim keeps on acting good and friendly with the non-Muslims until they gain power to kill or convert the non-Muslims." Chapter 3 verse 28 of the Quran says, You are not supposed to be friends with unbelievers. The greatest commentators of all time Ibn Qasir, also commented on this verse by quoting Muhammad's companion, Abu Darda. Therefore, if Muslims are outnumbered, they are supposed to have two faces. On the inside they are supposed to hate the unbelievers, and long for the day when Islam will dominate. And on the outside, they are allowed to pretend to be peaceful, tolerant, kind, and loving, smiling in our faces, while cursing us in their heart. If you deny Taqiyya, you will be defiling the well-established scholar of Islam, Ibn Qasir. And by doing this, you have destroyed your Islamic faith. To refute feeble allegation as such, we need to simply analyze the supporting evidence of this concept. Taqiyya. Muslims had many scholars, and respects them all. Sometimes scholars don't agree with each other. And sometimes Muslims might not agree with some scholars, but, that doesn't mean faith is lost, because of disagreements. Anti-Islamist usually quotes Taqiyya, from Tafsir ibn Qasir. Ibn Qasir was an Islamic scholar, born 700 years after Prophet Muhammad. The anti-Islamist misinterprets Ibn Qasir, by taking things out of context, and gives a new meaning, which is evil, and false. Taqiyya is a concept, where Muslims are living in a non-Muslim land, and the non-Muslims begin to persecute and kill the Muslims, on the account of their religion. Then, those Muslims are allowed to pretend to renounce Islamic faith, to save their life. Taqiyya is only done, in such extreme situation when life is threatened. Anti-Islamists should know that, the people in the Western countries such as, USA, UK, Australia, etc. are protected by the constitutions, no matter what religion they follow. And, in Western countries Muslims are practicing their religion boastfully, and no one can threaten their life, on the account of religion. So, if Muslims are nice to others, this is because they are commanded by the God, and the Messenger of God, to be nice with everyone. There is no question of taqiyya. Verily Allah, commanded the Muslims. O oh, you who have believed, be persistently standing firm in justice, witnesses for Allah. Even if it be against yourselves, or parents and relatives. Whether one is rich, or poor. Allah is more worthy of both. So follow not personal inclination, lest you not be just. And if you distort your testimony, or refuse to give it, then indeed Allah is ever with what you do, acquainted. The anti-Islamist tries hard to hinder people from truth, by their strong attempts to find discrepancy in Islam, but their plots are weak, as Allah said in the Quran, truth has come, and falsehood has perished. Indeed is falsehood, by nature, ever bound to perish. Muslims should have more confidence and faith in Allah in responding the allegations of anti-Islamist. Please, convey this message with your family, friends, neighbors etc., otherwise, misconception of such nature will just grow without any solution. And follow us on YouTube, at youtube.com, slash, user, slash, NCAPCS.